Just wanted to show you guys something. Got two field piece vacuum pumps rocking on this chiller. Just did a uh, repair on this thing. So normally, if you're going to use two pumps, you have to be careful because one pump can suck the oil out of the other pump. Um, most of the time, if you can use two, they normally should be the same size. So that and you basically you're pulling the same amount of CFM through each one, and that would negate the the suction on the other one. So this one is a 10 CFM pump. That's an 8 CFM pump. So here's how we have it hooked up. This one here, you got the blue hose that's coming to the discharge. The black one is just from another port that was right there. Just try to utilize as much as we can. And that far black one goes all the way down. So she comes over here, and this is something you gotta pay attention to. It won't always work, because this is a service valve, and it does have packing nuts and stuff like that, so you do run a risk, but this is where that third hose is. So this and those other two hoses I showed you are on the 10. Well, the eight CFM pump, and I gotta walk around again. This 8 CFM pump, just one hose, the blue Smurf, uh, right on to the EVAP. Pulled the Schrader out of that, EVAP, and then that one's using that. Now, hopefully at this point you're thinking, well, how the heck do you isolate it? Well, again, a lot of this is only going to work if other things work. It might not always work for you, but the way I'm able to get this done is using the liquid line solenoid valve right here. That is how I'm able to get it done. I have the EEV at 100% open. I have the liquid line solenoid valve closed because you can see, so it goes here. It comes back there. It come out of here on the top. Through. And that's where the other pump is. So this whole thing is predicated on this valve holding. And I'm happy to say that it is 1120 microns on that one. Where's yours? And I'll show you the other one. You can see, got a micron gauge right there as well. Coworkers popping it up. He's at 1530. I'm at 1120. So they are being separated. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay attention to the oil. Make sure the uh, the 8 CFM pump, the oil is not getting sucked out of it. Because if it is, then this ain't gonna work. But so far, it is working exactly as planned and that's how you can use two vacuum pumps of dissimilar sizes and get your vacuum done quite a bit faster now it's time to shut the ballast off on this one there we go the ballast is already the ballast is already shut on that one so Long as that liquid line solenoid valve holds like it was. Uh, oh, sorry. The other thing is I, I isolated the suction line right here at this butterfly valve. That's the shutoff valve for the compressor. So that way we're blocked here. We only have access to there through the EEV to the liquid line solenoid valve. And that's just one vacuum pump, one hose, everything else, the compressor, discharge line 
the condenser coil and through the liquid line is being handled by that pump. And it's working.